In this video I'm going to show you how to create some random numbers, especially for cases where you want to roll dice or spin a spinner. Just do something uh, randomly, uh, select a number, and I will talk about numbers like 1 through 6 if you want to roll 6-sided die, or 1 through 8 if you want to roll 8-sided die. Uh, and the big thing, uh, for big first thing, is to understand a math method called uh, math.random. So I'm going to create a double because random numbers in Java are created uh, as decimals. So double A equals, now I need, I want the computer to come up with a random number. So math.random is the math method that does that for me. And to start out I will output and show uh, what it does. So it creates a number that is between 0 and 1. Now it's important to understand that it will not include the 1. So it's really 0 to 0 0.9999 and so on. So I'll make a note here um, on this line that what it's doing is it's creating a number that is a number 0 through 0 0.9999 that's m the random uh, math.random math method uh, in Java so now that's great but that's not really my 1 through 6 like I'd like on a on, on die uh, so the next thing I need to do is to realize that right now I have kind of like 0 through 1 so uh, what I'm going to do next is I am going to multiply by 6. I'm going to multiply by 6. So I'm going to take the a variable and I'm going to multiply the a variable by 6. And think about what my numbers are now. If I were to take 0 to 0.9999 and I were to multiply by 6, my numbers are now 0 to 0 0.9, uh, I'm sorry, 0 to 5.99999. Now, I don't quite get to 6 because uh, what we're dealing with here at this point in time is a number times 6. So you can't quite get to 6. So, what I'm looking at next is I have 0 to almost 6. The next step is just simply to add 1. A plus equals 1. Now, think about what happens there. I have, instead of 0 to 5.999, I now have 1 to 6.9s. Now, that's actually a good sign. I'm actually getting really close to what I'm looking for, because remember, I want 1 to 6. And so, next step here in this game, or dice rolling method, it's not a method, but the, the method I'm creating a dice roller. It's not the only way to do it, but it's a pretty good system with... Uh, some good logic that's been learned in beginning programming. And so the next stage would be simply to drop any decimal on it. So basically take A and int it. Now this is going to become a little bit of a problem. It doesn't create any errors or anything, but it's important to remember uh, what we've just done. So when you cast as an integer, it forces your number to be an integer, which basically drops all decimals. So now our numbers are uh, 1 to 6 because it drops all decimals. And if you're not familiar with casting, I do have another video on casting. You could look that up and watch that if you need some help with casting. Uh, now, it's also important to remember that A is a double. So in all of these examples, really, it's 1.0 to 6.0 are my numbers. So I'm going to run this program again just to kind of show you what's going on. And as I run this a few times, you can see that the numbers that I'm getting are 1 through 6. And that is e exactly what's going to be happening here. I'm going to be getting die rolls of 1 to 6. Now that might bother some of you because when you roll the dice you don't usually see the decimal on it. So the next, there's a couple ways to do that. Uh, way 1, of course I could just come down here and my output, I could cast my output as an integer. If I cast my output as an integer and I run this over and over and over again, now I'll get my die rolls without the decimals. Okay, and that's fine. Or maybe you actually want to store it. Another option would be to take your final die roll, 1.0 to 6.0, and maybe to create an integer called maybe uh, die roll. Okay, and I'll set that one equal to casting it as an A. And so now, technically, this is 1 through 6, and that's what I would be looking for. And in that, so instead of 
uh, outputting int a, maybe here I'll output uh, die roll. And I can run this, and we can just verify the output that it's working. So I'm going to be getting numbers 1 through 6 as I roll the dice. And there we go. So I know I did this in many lines of code. Okay, so that's not probably the standard way to do it. So the standard way to do it simply would be to do it all in maybe even one line of code. I, in this case, uh, it involves a little bit of understanding what's going on. So maybe I will, let's see, I'll create a new integer variable called die1. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this roll a six-sided die. And the way I do it is I'll walk through these steps again. And remember, the first thing is I need to do a math.random. I need the computer to create a random number. Now, let's say this is a, um, for, let's say it's a 20-sided die. If it's a 20-sided die, what I want to do is I want to take that random number and multiply by 20. Okay, and remember, I'm up here now. Instead of 0 to 0 0.99, I now have 0, 2, and it's just short of 20, so it would be 19.99. And what I'd want to do is I would want to take that random number and add 1 to it. And maybe I'll track my progress here. Originally, I started with 0, 2.9s repeating. When I multiply by 20, this becomes 19.999. When I add the 1, it's important to realize that this becomes a 1, and this becomes a 20.999. Now, I'm trying to do this all in one line. So the next step after we get to this range is to cast it as an integer. If we cast it as an integer, then this stays a 1, and this becomes a 20 which is great because that's exactly what I'm looking for right now. So now I have a 1 through 20 scenario. I'll add my semicolon so that error goes away. So now I'm at a 1 through 20 scenario here. And I'm going to take this output statement off just so that we're not confused with the two die rolls, although I could just do two die rolls like that. Uh, and in fact, the rest of this output I can get rid of. And what I've created here is just a one line of code, just one line of code that rolls the die for me. And this this is a 1 through 20 die, so I'll run this and we'll see what numbers we're getting here. Uh, of course, I should probably output it. Output die 1. There we go. And now we'll get some output here. And I get a 6. Let's make sure we get numbers. There we go. I'm getting 18, 19, 20, 9, 16, 14. Okay, and now I'll just be getting my roll with a 20-sided die. Now we could do the same thing if you wanted to do a spinner. If you had a spinner with, uh, let's just say, 20 colors on it, because I have it set up right now. Then I would have to connect each number to a color. So if it's 1, it's red. If it's 2, it's blue. If it's 3, it's yellow, and so on. Uh, but for now, this is the uh, one method to create random numbers, uh, especially in game situations where you need to randomly select numbers one through something else. Now, if I wanted something like uh, numbers three through eight, well, it'd be a very similar process, but I would end up realizing that three through eight works the same way. Now, it's very important to remember, let me add a comment in here while I talk just to show what I'm thinking. Uh, if I want 3 through 8, or maybe I'll go 3 through 6 just to make this a little bit shorter. If I want the numbers 3 through 6, it's important to realize that that is four numbers. So really, what I could do is I could create a, I could create some code that would create four numbers, four random numbers, like 1 through 4. And so to create 1 through 4, I would just have to come up here and change this 20 to a 4. So that would be my random number creator, 1 through 4. And after I do that, I could just simply uh, add 3 to those numbers, because then it becomes 3 through 7. I'm sorry, add 4 to those numbers. My mistake. Okay. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. I would add 2 to those numbers. That's what I'm looking for. And the reason I'm adding 2 to those numbers is because I want the 1 to become a 3, and I want the 4 
3 comma 6, or think about the 1, 2, 3, 4. If I add 2 to all the numbers, I get 3, 4, 5, 6. That would be another method to create not just dice where I want 1 through 6 or 1 through 20, but just any kind of random set of numbers in a row. I hope that helps you understand how to make random numbers so that you can enjoy making some basic games that uh, involve probability, chance, uh, and things like that.